Hey there folks, this is Felix at Crunker.com and just a quick video re review of the Xbox 360 HD DVD drive that I just recently got. You're looking right now at the dashboard, uh, the 360's console's dashboard. And if you look at it right now, you'll notice nothing's really different. I have a Family Guy um, theme going, so that's why it's a little funky looking. The only real noticeable difference is in the bottom half of the screen where it says open tray. You'll notice that the white little colored area has been highlighted. Um, in the original, before the HD DVD drive was connected, there was just pretty much, I think, a solid circle. I, I really can't remember right now, but off the top of my head. But right now you see that the circle is actually split in two halves. The upper portion of is now white, which controls the internal DVD drive that's connected to the 360. Now if I go to the bottom, you'll see, and once that's highlighted, you'll see the thing change, the GUI changes to say, play HD DVD, and the right hand side shows the HD DVD logo. What does that mean? Well, that means you have access now to opening the disk within the disk drive that's connected to the 360, which of course is the HD DVD drive. Now I'm going to pan down to my 360. There it is right there, with the HD DVD drive, external drive connected to the 360, both are lit up. You'll notice that the HD DVD drive has a little light associated to the eject button. So that tells you that this power, the unit's powered up, everything's ready to rock and roll. So let's go back up. I apologize again, we don't have a video capture set up for the 360, so everything's going through our video camera. So let's go ahead and power up and start up the HD DVD disc that's inside the 360, 360's player, which in this case is Apollo 13. I'm going to start it up right now, it'll take a little bit of time. The screen will go black here. One of the cool things about HD DVD discs in general is that the entire disc itself is in Dolby Digital, whereas old DVD discs that you're probably used to, only the movie itself is in Dolby Digital, or the audio portion is. Right now we have a fully immersive interactive experience with the HD DVD discs. So right from the get-go, here's the Apollo 13 launching. How do we know it's HD DVD? Well, the logo tells us so. One of the cool things again with the uh, menuing system is just the, how everything's fully immersed. You have menus with Dolby Digital Audio, you can choose, set up things. Um, you can always access the menu at any point in time while you're playing a your movie. Here the, here the menu just kind of slid right in. I'm going to change the backlight for a second. Hopefully it'll get a little sharper for you. Um, so there it is. Sorry, I apologize if the uh, brightness is a little too bright right now. So let's play this movie. And what you can't really tell from this is how much brighter or how much sharper everything is. Let's see if I zoom in a little bit. You might be able to see some of it here. So now you're looking at the display of our of the uh, my Sony HD TV, which is a direct view CRT display. I'm going to go go right into the. Uh, let's just skip this. I've always liked the 360's ability to simply skip chapters at whatever one, whatever point in time. So the movie started now. I could now instantly go back to the menu, bring up the, the DVD menuing system. You notice the overlay. How awesome is that? Whereas in DVDs. When you click on the DVD menu, you get kicked out of the movie. In HD DVD, the menu overlays right on top of the video. And you can instantly access any of the things. You can take scenes, you know, the current scene that you're at, and just mark it. Say, I'm, I like this scene, or whatnot. You can go straight to your extras, you can overlay, do picture in picture, depending on the uh, title at hand. Of course, just like in any any 360 device or any 360 content being played, you can always go back to the, to the 360's dashboard at any point in time. So let's go back to that. I'm going to bring up my dashboard, press Y, and instantly I get back to my 360 dashboard. Okay, so maybe not instantly, but close enough. So now again, this is the 360 dashboard with the Xbox Live Vision camera connected. you notice also that the back, the reason you know that this is the 360 live camera connected is because of the wavy background, which you might be able to tell. The vision camera is working, it's being piped through the HD DVD player. Um, again, there's a USB 2.0 hub connected to the, or actually built right into the HD DVD player. So you can easily uh, connect additional peripherals to the 360. There's no worry about running out of USB ports here. So that pretty much sums up the, uh, the review, the video review we have here for the 360 HD DVD player. Hope you enjoy this time, and thanks again for dropping by.